hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today guys I'm going to tell you a little trick I started using to avoid as much shedded and breakage as possible doing wash day so you guys know I have my whole little wash day routine that I do I have my hot oil treatment to prep my hair down to my last rinse so one thing I notice in my hair is especially after I take out a protective style is how tangled it is at the roots that's because I have so much shedded hair that has been building up those are just loose and waiting for me to comb them out and get rid of them because they didn't get to fall off because my hair was braided away I pretty much always keep my hair braided or twisted so yes I'm always gonna have those hair that's holding on they're not just going to fall off so one thing I started doing guys is getting rid of that shed hair before I actually do any detangling and the way I do that guys it's simple I go and I separate my hair into section just like I would when I'm going to hot oil my hair but before I hot oil my hair, I will take my aloe vera juice spray and I will go and spray small section. Now make sure you divide your hair into small section. I don't do too small, but I do a pretty small amount of hair. And all you want to do is you want to make sure you just slightly mist your hair. You don't want this wet because this is not going to work like you want it. You just want it just a little damp. And after you do that, run your hand over the top of your hair, the top of your strands. Don't go in, don't detangle, don't finger detangle, don't use a comb. Just glide your hand on top of your hair, run over the strand of your hair and just keep doing that for about a good minute to five minutes depend how long you need how long is your hair you will notice that when you're running over it little shed hairs are coming off even though you're not detangling those little shed hair they will be coming off every time I do a couple of pass with my hand I take them off my hand and I put them away because I want to make sure I see when that shedded hair stop when I'm no longer getting any shedded hair what I do is I take my hot oil treatment and I rub it all over my hand I go over the strand again to make sure I have slip in there and I squeeze it in you know massage the oil in there before I detangle and then I will go ahead and finger detangle my hair and take out those shedded hair what that doing for me guys is if I take out those shedded hair before I actually detangle my hair there's less shedded hair that will be tangling with my hair to cause more breakage and shedding just unnecessary hair loss that I don't need I don't need any more help and shedding and breaking I want to make sure I minimize that as much as possible and you're going to go and do this over your entire head until you have your hair completely done and then you'll have your hair detangle and hot oil and of course guys you just let this sit in for at least an hour and you go on with your wash day routine that's it guys it's something very simple you can do something very quick something you wouldn't think of I didn't think of it would make any difference but that little tip has saved me so much hair saved me so much excess shedding that I noticed that my hair is actually retaining a lot more length than usual in the time span I've done my hair for the past two months. So <laughs> that's it guys. Very simple trick you can use for your hair to minimize shedding and breaking when you are detangling your hair, even if you're washing it, doing wash day, or you're just taking it out to moisturize it, you can use that tip as well to do the same thing. So <laughs> if you guys have any tips and tricks that you use to retain more length and avoid unnecessary shedding and breaking, please comment down below and let us know. <laughs> so of course, thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already guys subscribe to my channel and everyone don't forget to click that little notification button so you'll know when I have new videos up and if you have any comments guys please comment down below of course again and let us know share your tips and tricks and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up go over and watch my last video guys